for more, let's bring in our A-team political panel, Democratic campaign consultant and Fox News contributor Doug Schoen and GOPAC chairman and GOP strategist David Avella. It's great to see both of you. As always, thanks for being here on this Easter weekend. Uh, Doug, I'm going to go to you first because sure. you say that Democrats are off the rails. And I want to hear you tease that out for us a little bit. Sure. Look, we've heard from the special counsel. He said no collusion and no basis to go forward uh, on obstruction. I know there's a lot of nuance. I know there's a lot of facts on both sides. But I also know something else. That's what the voters are going to hear. That's what they care about. And what they really want the candidates to talk about are their positions on issues like unemployment, on uh, health care, education, income inequality, and how we're going to get America moving uh, going forward. That's where the election will be decided. And I think David would agree with me that to just spend full time on impeachment or related topics, more investigations, yeah. is a fool's errand. Well, here's the thing, though. The devil is always in the details, right? And David, while you might agree, I'm not going to speak for you, but I am for a second, you may agree with Doug that the party, the Democrats, need to focus on 2020 and shore up their candidates. Um, is the party at all concerned by some of the nuance, as Doug calls it, that's in this report? Well, you're speaking well for me, Jillian, because I do agree with Doug. <laughs> and, and let me take it one step further which is what you don't hear from Democrats is things like, what are we going to do to make sure Russia doesn't have an impact on our 2020 elections? Good point. As the three of us have discussed numerous times, Russia has been trying to impact our elections since the 60s. Nikita Khrushchev used to brag about trying to be involved in the 1960 presidential election. And we don't hear anything about the, the need for voter ID, uh, making sure that those who aren't citizens don't vote in America. In fact, you hear, you see just the opposite. In California, uh, in some cities now, you don't have to be a U.S. citizen to vote. In Vermont, uh, in Mount Pillar, you don't have to be a U.S. citizen to vote in local elections. So Dem poli Democrat policies are going more to making our elections less safe, not more stay safe. And, you know, just as we need the general election to be safe and secure, Doug's vote in the Democratic primary should be protected, too. David, what about, though, some of the revelations in the Mueller report? No collusion, no obstruction. Great. But what about some of the revelations about the president directing staff to lie, the president directing his staff uh, to do things that could be obstruction of justice, you know, like ordering his White House counsel in 2017, Don McGahn, to try and get Mueller fired. You feel good about that? Not one of those uh, statements is going to change a voter's opinion of the president. Voters have their opinion of the president. And ultimately, he will be reelected because things in America are going in the right direction. The economy is very strong. Uh, our military continues to be rebuilt. He's working on bringing border security. I if the election is about and remains, on the impact this president has had on mo moving America forward, he wins re-election. All right. Um, Doug, Warren, Elizabeth Warren said just this morning, reiterated her calls uh, for impeachment. Does that indicate to you this thing's not going to go in the direction you hope it's going to go in? No, it doesn't indicate that. It indicates to me that Elizabeth Warren in particular is lagging in the polls. She's behind Mayor Pete. She's behind Bernie Sanders. And she's behind Joe Biden. To me, Jillian, the real tip you mean off she's is... she's not really a concern for you and she's not right. a primary contender here. She, she's not. Yeah, she's trying to get back in the hunt. The real question to me is on Wednesday when Joe Biden announces, as reports indicate, will he call for impeachment or will he, as I suspect, stop short of that? Yeah. Um, David, what do you think? Just quickly, we got to wrap up in a second, but do you think there's a chance Biden would call for impeachment or not really? It would be out of character, but uh, in this yeah. field of Democratic candidates, who knows? Sometimes you got to distinguish yourself, you know? <laughs> well, you yeah, that's not going to distinguish anybody. No. They're all going to say more investigations, which is a mistake. And I want the Democrats to win, Jillian. Make no mistake. All right, gentlemen, thanks for your time Thank as you. always. Thank we'll you. check back with you soon. Thank you.